This is one beautiful speaker. This is the GGMM M4. This has been a really awesome speaker. It's probably the nicest one I've ever owned. There's a lot of cool features about this speaker that you could really appreciate it. And for all the abilities that it does have, the sound quality, the features, I do say it's worth the price. Not to mention just how it sounds and how it operates, but it's actually made really well. This has a pretty good weight to it. It weighs a nice little bit and it's made of nice materials like this material on the outside feels like a nice thick leather around the whole speaker then you got this hard shell on the top that's kind of like a matte finish. The material on the outside is really nice. It's just a chamfered edge on the perimeter then you got a nice steel hard speaker grill there. On the top we have our controls which is our volume and also our bass, little boost, you got modes and also your power button. On the side you can attach a strap which you have two different levels that you can do that. I put this on the tightest one because that's just what I prefer or you can make it longer just kind of depending on your needs. This material is also the same kind of material that you feel right here. On the back end you got your reset button, your power source, and your auxiliary in. And here's some of our subwoofers here so that way it kind of controls the sound. You can just really see how this whole setup is just going to be really really nice. On the bottom you got some nice rubber padding here so it's really nice and cushioned. It's not going to vibrate too much at all. And you can see this nice metal frame here with some screws in it. What's pretty neat about this is that you get a GGMM app that you can operate from this. And you can download it on Android, on iOS, and also your PC or Mac. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Just hold down the power button for a few seconds. You see the mode light come up. Your nice little Bluetooth beep. And then it starts to blink. And it also connected. You can connect Bluetooth, so you can connect with your iPhone. And you can hear that are just connected there. Alright, so this is where you switch between your different modes, like with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or auxiliary connection. You can just toggle through them like this. And it kind of gives you an indicator of what kind of mode that it's going to be in. When you get to the purple mode and then it goes to blue, that means that it's going to be Wi-Fi ready. And what that means is that you can actually see it on your phone or whatever Wi-Fi device that you're trying to connect with. You see the GGMM M4. All you have to do is select that. And it starts to connect and do the connectivity process. And you can see that it worked just fine like that. So now you can actually stream your music via Wi-Fi, not just Bluetooth. So that's really cool. Another really cool thing about this speaker is that you can connect multiple speakers up, up to six. So it can get a surround sound kind of effect, or you can place them into different rooms. So you can stream your music and hear the music in different rooms. So if, let's say, you're working in the house, you just want to get some tunes going, you can put one in the kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, outside, whatever you want to do. It's a really cool effect. Okay, so when you get to their app, it looks kind of confusing on how you even get started. You're just going to swipe this stuff away. kind of gives you like a re encampment of history of music and how we get connected to music. This is neat because it tells you what kind of modes and what kind of colors this means. So blue Wi-Fi, white is Bluetooth. I kind of wish they would have switched that around, blue to Bluetooth. That kind of makes more sense to me. And then you got auxiliary with the green. So I'm on the Wi-Fi mode now, so that's good. You saw how to toggle through that. You got more options. You got red flashing, white on, and purple on. And now we have our playback page, and this is where you can actually play music with. Let's go to our settings, and you can add a device. And there we go. We got the speaker added. And this is where you can do the multi-room effect. So you can toggle that on, but you're going to have to have another speaker, so I don't. But you can also, this is where it's really rocking, is because you can do left and right settings. And you can make this go left and right, or you can just do left or right. That's really cool. And so when you want to add another one of these speakers, you just hit Add Device. That's all you got to do. It's a really easy setup. Okay, so my Android device, I have the option to choose my Wi-Fi network from this screen. So all I did was do Connected. And just to show you some other modes, you got some router modes as well. So you got your PCs, your Android or iOS device, you got your router. And your router could then connect to your speaker. So you can go Direct Mode or Router Mode. 
All right, there's my network, so I'm just going to enter my password real quick. All right, and I'm confirming as they're saying it's got blue indicator, so that's good. Okay, so when you get some music on your device, that's where you can play with this. So I'm going to go switch over to Bluetooth mode so I can show you what it, the speaker sounds like. So to do that, we just swap over to the modes over here and go to the white one, and that's the Bluetooth. This speaker is pretty impressive. I really like it. I think you should check it out. It's worth the investment. I'll leave that link down below in the description. I'm, I'm really just enjoying how good this sounds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you're going to want to so you can see more videos like this plus more. And until then, stay techy. Why man can't dance? <laughs>